um, about mechanism of action of one of the MS drugs. I sent out a Twitter uh, poll. Uh, you guys have voted, and Jelenia was the winner. And so we're going to talk about how Jelenia or Fingolimod works. So when you think about multiple sclerosis, you've got over here the bloodstream, and then there's a barrier. Bloodstream's over here. On the other side of the barrier is the brain and spinal cord. Naughty white blood cells live in the bloodstream, right? And these naughty white blood cells will cross the blood-brain barrier into the brain where they'll attack the brain. So one of the ways that we can slow down MS is by creating a better barrier so the naughty white blood cells can't cross to get over to the brain. If we could prevent them from getting over there, then they couldn't attack the brain or spinal cord. So there are many drugs that prevent the, the cells from crossing this blood-brain barrier. In Jelenia, Fingolimod does this in a rather unique manner. So the way it does it is by tricking the cells, sort of. Now, I trained in Detroit, which means I'm always allowed to talk about cars. And so I'm going to use a car analogy. We need to think about the white blood cell. Uh, think of the white blood cell as a car, and the bloodstream is a road. So the car drives down the road. Now the lymph nodes, the lymph nodes are where the white blood cells will leave the bloodstream and then go back in the bloodstream. And I want us in this analogy to think of the lymph node as a garage, okay? So getting into the garage, you have to show a hang tag. Now interestingly, leaving the garage, you have to show a different hang tag. And so this car, this white blood cell has to have two hang tags, one to get into the lymph node, one to get out. When you take gelenia, you swallow a pill of gelenia, what happens is the, the white blood cell, this analogy of the car, loses the hang tag to leave the garage. So the white blood cell has the hang tag to enter the garage. The, the, the car drives down the road, it, it uses the hang tag and it enters in the garage. In other words, the white blood cell goes down the bloodstream and enters into the lymph node. But it can't exit the lymph node, it's trapped. It reminds me of the eagles in Hotel California because it can go in but it can't exit. And so as long as you keep taking gelenia or fingolimod, that white blood cell doesn't have its exit hang tag, it can't exit, and it traps some of these white blood cells in the lymphatics. So again, here's the blood-brain barrier, the bloodstream's over here. You have naughty white blood cells that are now trapped, they're imprisoned, sequestered inside the blood-brain, inside the bloodstream, actually in the lymphatics. So if they can't leave the lymph node, they can't get in the bloodstream. And if they can't get in the bloodstream, they can't cross over into the brain. And so by trapping some of the white blood cells in the lymphatics, gelinia, fingolimod, prevents those cells from access to where they're going to cause a ruckus. And that's the most commonly understood mechanism of how gelinia works in multiple sclerosis. Now, truth be told, there's probably many other mechanisms. And there's even some suggestion in the medical literature that gelinia might have a central effect, actually in the brain and spinal cord, maybe on astrocytes. But that's information that we don't know about. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Aaron Voster with Ohio Health Multiple Sclerosis Center. I appreciate the time, and I'll come back uh, in the near future and talk about how another drug works. Thank you. Have a great day.